do pick a card. We have Alice in Wonder Wonderland. We have the Oracle of Time. And we also have the Vampire deck here. So depending upon which deck you choose, um, I'm going to do a reading to that deck. So you can choose pink. You can choose the gold, the key, Vampire Girl, or the pink, red, burgundy, whatever deck you want to call it, okay? So, I'm going to start with, for some reason, I'm going to start here, all right? So, this is the Oracle of Time, the Oracle of Time deck. Start with the Oracle of Time. Oracle of Time. What do we need to know? What do we need to know here? Alright, pick a deck, Oracle of Time. Okay, Dress of Alchemy. Release your power. 33 is the number, so that's mastery. You have mastered something. You have skill. You have now stepped into the Magician. And this also giving me, I don't know if you can see her wings. There's wings behind her back, but there's also eyes on her wings. So, learning something, creating something, changing something. Also, I see uh, Ten of Cups, first and foremost, and the moon. So, there may be some shadows behind, hiding behind, um, or an illusion is what I'm gathering. Behind your, this is... Uh, Everything that you have planned for has worked out. Life and love is good. So it's giving me like a cloaking vibe. So the thing that, they, what did they say to me uh, the other day? It's not a secret, it's sacred. So that vibe. So a sacred union, a sacred tie, a sacred bond, a sacred situation, okay? So not a secret, it's sacred. And making sure that you treat it as such. All right, this dress of alchemy. What do we need to know about this dress of alchemy? Okay. So, be careful that your focus doesn't choose, uh, close you off to new ideas, okay? So, meditation, contemplation, apathy, revelation, restlessness, disconnected, and boredom. And then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, my feet my foot my right foot started itching at the bottom okay so you may be focused on something a situation person place or thing they want you to see something else so stepping back and get a fresh perspective in the situation all right so that could potentially be seeing things from all perspectives so not just being not just having tunnel vision it's like keeping your head on a swivel all right all right okay more power so definitely some power in this because that's the high priestess vibes it's the best of both worlds light and dark it's being in the middle so gaining and having access to both realms the top and the bottom and trusting your intuition hate having secret knowledge sacred knowledge so what did i say it's sacred it's not a secret it's sacred so keeping some things to yourself and that's also in the things that divine gives you or the power that you have access or now being given access to. So your subconscious mind, spirituality, the divine feminine, the divine force, um, that's balanced, the middle ground. So being able to work, like I said, in the middle ground. And some people might not understand that. And some people might say you got to pick or you got to choose a side. You don't have to pick or choose a side. Because literally, you've been granted access to both sides. And that's truly stepping into your power and understanding who you are. Which also means that you are a person who is needed for different tasks or different situations or circumstances by divine. Because of the fact that they're giving you and granting you access to the middle ground. Okay? Um, so trust yourself. There's wisdom there, hidden mysteries, hidden secrets, things that you're going to be told that are not meant for anybody else. They're meant for somebody that's able to navigate the middle ground, somebody that has that can live in both sides, the best of both sides, the best of both worlds. All right. Dress of alchemy. 
you have choices and that's what i said top or bottom you could do you can navigate both realms okay um so step back and seeing everything from everything from um to gain perspective and didn't i say not focus not having tunnel vision but making sure that everything you're you're keeping your head on a swivel so they're giving you choices they're giving you options they're giving you opportunities all right and again there's something about the illusions that are being created making sure that and definitely you're not creating illusions for yourself but the illusion of you so somebody may think that think they know something pertaining to you and they don't so that might be the thing where people are trying to get somebody to pick a side. They're trying to get you to, you know, do this or do that. You got to pick, choose the light or the dark. Why? It's the best of both worlds. You're been, you've been given granted access to both realms for a reason. And it's not anybody else's business. It's the reason of, I'm going to teach you how to room and move in a room full of vultures. There are certain things that need to be done and you have to be able to navigate freely. And so it's basically you being able to navigate freely, finding your purpose. All right. And, and acting actively in your purpose. All right. What else about this dress of alchemy? This 33, this master. Okay. Divine feminine, the empress. And again, I feel like some people are not going to understand you. It's not for them too. So you can do anything you want and be happy with the results. Anything. What did I say? The best of both worlds. You have been granted access. Abundance, nurturing, fertility, feminine, good parenting, good development, great accomplishments, growth, evol evolution, and action. Okay? So that's also being able to move in both sides, your masculine and your feminine. If you, you need help, ask for it. That's your feminine side. If you could just do it yourself, do it yourself. Your masculine side, but being able to navigate in both things, both realms, because even a masculine should be able to ask for help. If you just too overly yeah. huh, like rough and you know rugged, you, you we need balance, okay? So balance, and because literally they tell you, you got to pick a side, but meanwhile they also teaching you balance. It's a contradiction, all in itself, all all in its own. So do you want me to have balance, or do you want me to pick a side? And that's why I keep saying sometimes you have to learn for yourself what you're being told, what your DNA is actively activating to, and what Divine is talking to you about. Because people will have you running around in circles if you keep listening to them. You need to have balance. You need to bring things, your yin and your yang. But meanwhile, I need you to pick a side. That don't make no sense. You can't straddle the fence. You can only serve one master. Yeah, you can only serve one master. God, everybody serves God, including... Satan had to go to God in order to ask, can he touch Job? He didn't just do it because he thought that he was the master of something. He had to go and ask, request permission. Make it make sense. All right, one more card for the dress of alchemy, please. One more card for the dress of alchemy. So a completion, you have completed a cycle also. All right, again, you have been granted something else. <laughs> You've been granted access, but you have been granted also something else. So opening your heart to receive the emotions around you, okay? Love, compassion, creativity, new feelings, spirituality, intuition, new baby, and proposals, and marriage. And again, this card, this started off the same exact way. It's basically telling you, because that's that hand right here. This is the same thing. That same cup is being, like... They have now went through the, the veil in order to present you this cup. You're being presented with that. So whether or not you take on the choice or the option to look at it or want to do it or you keep, you know, focusing on what these people keep telling you or, or stuff that has not been serving you thus far. Okay. So you have been granted something step into your power own it own it with authority okay so that's the vibe on that so for if you chose the uh this deck that was the reading for that okay actually i'm gonna just leave it like that so then well i'm gonna leave it like this for one but then i'm gonna turn them all over and read it together so 
it's gonna be four readings in one, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm feeling like we're gonna go here, okay? So, her last day in the light. Unexpected endings, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. Okay, that's 10. That's a completion. Why? And this card looks like this stone. Now, that is funny. As a matter of fact, I got um, I, I just picked this stone up from underneath my desk. So, I got to figure out what it is. Um, but it looks exactly like that card. So, that's crazy. Um, so, that's 10. That's a completion. Okay. Unexpected endings, surprise changes, and sudden shifts, all right? So, definitely a new era, a new a new day, a new time, a, a shift happening. And I'm getting, like, elements and things changing. There's a... Uh, what, does, what does that look like? There's towers back here, and also she has... Uh, the birds look red, blue, and brown. But 10 is totally a completion. So a lot of power happening here. A lot of changes happening here in the energy. Um, divine feminine energy. You can do anything you want and be happy with the results. So abundance, fertility, um, development, growth, and evolution. And that's exactly what that looks like. Right, let's see what we got here. Her last date in the light. All right. So... We have a uh, two of wands here. Believe in your personal power. Plan in progress, making decisions, discovery, leaving home, travel plans, happiness, uh, attaining your goals, foresight, reconciliation. And I don't know why I feel like the last day in the light giving me um, a death, an ending, but it's also a new beginning because a 10 is a completion. That means you have completed something. But last day in the light means you have completed this life cycle. So somebody has definitely completed this life cycle. And somebody moving. So, something about moving. All right. So, you could be moving locations, fresh perspectives. Because, oh, what I was going to say, last day in the light. So, somebody that's always, like, they said somebody got to pick a side. But you're now being shifted in alignment to the middle ground. That's the best of both worlds. So somebody has completed their assignment where I guess maybe you were living in your shadow self and then you went to, okay, um, I'm going to live in my light side. And now somebody realizes that they are part of the middle ground. So somebody has now realized stepping into their power who they are. But I feel like all the, that that's going with that reading as well. So um, last day in the light, somebody is now learning to navigate both realms. All right, there's judgment here, judgment call. Answering the call to action creates new opportunities. So apparently somebody has raised their hand. Um, Because all I'm getting is, I'm loving light, but bitch, I can fight. So now you have been chosen to be a warrior. So that's, again, that's how you get to the middle ground, when you're able to navigate both realms, being, you know, coming into balance. So somebody has came in, come into balance with themselves. Um, the inner call, a new phase, absolution, a reckoning, and awakening. Um, you have been granted mercy and, and by God. You have now gained access. So you have now accessed a level, a new level. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. Yes, definitely. Walking away from a situation, person, place, or th person, place, or thing, you have to leave some people behind. So when you make the choice, take action with confidence. So if, if you have already accepted this, 
know that you're doing the right thing, okay? So, walking away from people and leaving some stuff behind. So, withdrawal and escapism. Escapism. Some people may feel abandoned by your situation. Some, by, some people may be disappointed by, by your situation. But this is you leveling up and doing some stuff that you got to do for yourself. So, again, walking away. Moving away from some situations. Person, places, or things. But either way, you have to leave some stuff behind. All right? Um, this action or this change coming in quickly. Um, you definitely leave, leaving a situation behind, leaving places, um, your sec success in the face of difficulty. It may be a difficult decision for you to have to walk away from these people, places, and things. Either way, there's movement, there's progression, there's action, integration, determination, willpower, control, and direction. So a departure, a victory, and a journey on your journey, finding your purpose, living in your uh, true authentic self of who you are. So you have definitely found balance. And, and, and your person, and you, who you are. All right, we have a page of swords here. Take your time and think before you act. Um, new ideas, curiosity, uh, alert, a thirst for knowledge, messages coming in, contracts, negotiations, new information, okay, and messages coming in. So where you're about to go, the thing you're about to do, who you're about to do it with is not for everybody. Again, this is something new. It's something... Uh, for you, not not everybody's business. And this could be after, so just the person who this is pertaining to, this could be after a painful decision, like you had to make this decision, um, or you making this decision, because again, somebody's giving me the vibe. Somebody has already stepped up to this, but somebody's giving me the vibe like they haven't made the decision, so you making decision, making the decision, but also they're saying that you need to go ahead and, you know, kind of put action to, to the thing. So you better off knowing the, the truth than living a lie. Better off living the truth than living a lie, gaining the, act, the information, because they told you at one point in time you had to choose a side. You had to live over here or you had to live over there there was no middle ground. But how is there not a middle ground if you need to be balanced? Balanced is the middle ground. So make it make sense. Again, some stuff that's a contradiction and it makes no sense. So you got to make it make sense. So after you have gone through this thing and that may be the thing that triggered you into this situation or this circumstance. Now you knowing who you are. Self-awareness, okay? And allowing things to transpire the way they need to move along that could also be like indicate like third party being you know involved here it could have been a breakup it could have been whatever it was that got you to where you needed to be some type of emotional pain loss grief divorce disloyalty whatever it was some type of confusion or conflict with family friends or your partner whatever it was that got you here was necessary it was a necessary evil in order for them to kind of wake you up or to put you in position for your next phase or your next life okay so that's the reading for the vampire deck, all right? All right, so last but not least, we're going to go over here to Alice in Wonderland. We're going to clear these cards a little bit. And we're going to figure this thing out. Somebody put a timestamp in here too for the, the time that the reading starts. For each one, please. It was 1919. This is when nineteen nineteen is when this reading starts. Or when I was saying it anyway. So let's see what we got. Okay, so the number's 40. Keeping up immense effort in advance. It's now 942. 1942 for this one, okay? All right, so keeping up immense effort in advance. I don't know why as soon as I seen that, keeping up with the Kardashians. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. Trying to keep up with somebody that is not 
stay in your own lane. So basically they're telling you stay in your own lane. Either you're trying to keep up with somebody or somebody's trying to keep up with you. And it's taking a whole lot of effort and a whole lot of time, all right? And if you're not living in your, your who you are as a person or your true authentic self, then that could be an issue or a problem. But if somebody else trying to keep up and trying to keep up time and pace with you, then you are kind of giving this person a run for their money. So whoever the person is that they're trying to keep up with, somebody is giving somebody a run for their money. All right. All right. It's taking a whole lot of time, a whole lot. Wow. Right off the bat. Definitely saying the same thing. There may be challenges, but you can do it. So stand your guard, stand your ground, okay? A competition, somebody, somebody's in competition with you. Somebody trying to keep up with you. Somebody trying to keep up with your, your pace. Um, or you trying to keep up, because depending upon who you are, which one are you on that side. But they're saying uh, protection, perseverance, defense. Be yourself. Be yourself and stand up for yourself, okay? So if you're the person that is being your true authentic self, then you have somebody that is trying to give you a little bit of competition or somebody trying to keep up with you or somebody basically watching everything that you do okay so there may be challenges but you can do it stand your guard stand your ground 10 toes down okay all right so you will have a victory in this situation so no need to worry about it you have entered um you have earned every one of your successes because you have worked hard you're putting in the work so public recognition of victory progress self-confidence rewards good news good fortune achievements and a promotion so it's giving me like somebody kind of looking up to you or looking at you um they want everything you got because they're trying to keep up with you they're trying to keep the pace with you um they you getting celebrated so this this person you know watching you get a gain or get a victory okay also we have the three of pentacles here so teamwork collaborations um so People reaching out to help to help for help when you need it, but also somebody's not doing that. Somebody's not trying to reach. Out. They're just trying to keep up the pace with you. But I got a feeling like you're doing collabs with other people, um, and it might be something that somebody's envious of. But some type of clean uh, teamwork happening, um, building something new, skills, long term success, um, team rewards. So I got to feel like I got a feeling like you being elevated. You're being elevated and somebody could potentially be a little jealous watching you get this done. Um, some or, or you being jealous. So being mindful that what's for you is for you and not to be envious or covetous of somebody else's situation because that's also a sin. OK, so be mindful of that as well. All right. And it just makes no sense because what's for you will always be for you. So worry about your own stuff, okay? Um, feeling tied to a situation. Somebody's feeling tied to a situation. Are you feeling tied to a situation? Um, it seems as though you're blocked um, and you can't take a step. So if you're trying to keep with somebody, keep up with somebody else, stop looking at other people's stuff. Stop looking at somebody else's plate. Um, and that could be the reason why you feel stuck or stagnant because you think that you're supposed to be along the pathway or in this um, the, uh, as far along as that, what this other person is, but you have your own pathway, your own journey to walk and to, to run. So just pay attention to yours and you're going to get where you need to get at the, the proper time. So having negative thoughts, self restrictions, look at this, um, um, imprisonment, imprisonment, mentality victim mentality restrictions feeling isolated your time is going to be your time okay um i don't know why i, I hear the um Krishan rock i heard it through the big old grapevine i'm destined for greatness um it just takes time that's what she said it just takes time so she heard it through the big old grapevine magician there working on your behalf I don't know if y'all seen that fly, but that was weird how that just came around. Um, action, creation, manifestation, power, self-confidence, clarity. Anything you can imagine, you can make it real. So you could potentially be fighting yourself in a situation or fighting um, mentally um, because of the fact that, or yeah, because of the fact that you're watching somebody else's plate. You're watching somebody else eat right now and your food ain't showed up to the table yet. But it's coming, okay? So you heard it through the big old grapevine. You're destined for greatness. It just takes time. All right, so everything coming at full circle. Everything has turned out well for and, and for you to enjoy, enjoy your success. Which is coming true, contentment, satisfaction, emotional st stability, luxury, and gratitude. 
So you gaining and you if you know that this is yours, knowing that consistency is key. Just keep doing the work. Keep doing the work. You're eventually going to be in the position that you've always wanted, okay? Um, and then three there. So we got 33 mastery of completion. So you're definitely going to get it. It's going to, it's obtainable. All right. So find your inspiration and take action. So just your focus on your goal. Don't focus on what somebody else is doing. You trying to keep up or keep pace with somebody else. It's not necessary. You're going to gain what you need to get when it's time. Okay. So be mindful of that. So we got preparation, progress, foresight enterprise activity expansion overseas opportunities and moving forward so giving me the, the the thought that things are going to open up for you when it's time when it's your time it's going to open up you need to get out of your head because it's giving me like you could potentially be overthinking a situation and that could be the thing that is you know hindering this manifestation but your dreams are coming true your dreams are going to come true it's yours you just have to know that and continue to do the thing that needs to be done. Okay. All right. So that's it for that. And now we're going to do each one of these cards together in a reading. And so we got 40 keeping up immense efforts and advancement. Somebody could be 40 years old. Um, four is April. So that's Aries and Taurus energy. So you could potentially be dealing with that. Um, again, somebody putting in overtime, putting in a lot of work to try to keep up with you. All right, we got 33 being there. And so that could also be March 4th for a birthday. Um, 33 being there, somebody could be 33 years old. Um, three plus three is six. So that's what? June, Gemini, and Cancer. You could be dealing with either one of them signs, releasing your power, stepping up and standing up for who you are, or, or um, just stepping up and being in your power, okay? Because again, they keep coming up in these readings. So that could be one of the things, the magician, the, the magician and the magician. So a magician beats another magician. Um, somebody could be, be doing things. Behind the scenes, you feel them. That could be one of them signs. Meanwhile, you stepping up and now re releasing your inner magician, okay? So releasing your power because you see she got her hands on her hips and she a little sassy, all right? So that birthday could be March 6th. Um, her last day in the life, unexpected endings, surprises, and sudden shifts, a completion, a 10. So you got a master number, mastery. So ascendant masters, you gaining access to higher levels, higher ground, higher realms, also, the lower realms, because like I said, living in both energies, your light and your dark, bringing balance into them. And her last day in the light is truly giving me, somebody may have died in a situation. It could be like Phoenix energy. So you are rising or, or coming up from the thing, the, 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 coming up from the ashes, that thing, okay? All right, so unexpected changes, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. Like, sudden shifts keeps giving me timeline jumping, something coming in quickly, things manifesting themselves quickly. So somebody is actually tapping into their higher self, their, their uh, divine, that's like giving gifts and talents to me. So sacred knowledge, again, and I just was saying that, between the, uh, the best of both worlds, your light and your dark. I literally just said that, and then there's a card. So that's like transcending. You have now transcended or ascended to a new level. And that energy shifting and you being uh, active, actively working in that energy, okay? So just so you know. All right, let's see what's happening here. All right. See what's happening for this reading here. All three of these cards. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. We got a Queen of Pentacles. All right. So 
focus on your home, your family, your success, and your abundance, okay? Nurturing, practical, supportive, reliable, providing financially, a working parent, and security. Things may not have been going well for you, but there's a change in the air. So things happening quickly because, like I just said, an unexpected ending and a surprise change, sudden shifts happening. And I'm saying that because this car hit the floor. So you may have been going through some changes, but literally now you're back on the table, okay? So now you're back in the game, stepping into your power, all right? All right, let's see what else is there. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for this grouping? All right, that's exactly what I just said. You may have been, you know, going through something. So that would be juggling, um, finding balance in your life um, and build your success. That's also, like I said, balance is that middle ground. Um, equal give and take. Light and dark, the best of both worlds. But this is also about your time management. So you may need to put some type of... Um, something something what is it you may have need to put something into uh action in order to make sure that everything is being done because it, this is about your time management being ad adaptable um negotiating the balance and the decision weighing your options but it's saying focus on your home your family your success and your abundance and the abundance so focusing giving equal opportunity and equal energy to all things okay so, so finding some balance within all things that's like setting times setting the time schedule also maybe using uh calendars and um what's them little things um where it sets your time for you or whatever whatever that thing is basically the thing that puts keeps you on task and on schedule all right so we got a five of wands here and that was actually being shown and it was what did i pull up the card um be smart and take it take things how they come competition debates rivalry conflict disagreement strife tension territorial clashing uh, clashing of egos and somebody trying to be petty to me that's giving me the vibe of pay attention to what you need because there are some people could be remember i said keeping up somebody trying to keep up with you um somebody trying to fight to keep the pace or you trying to keep fight to keep the pace up with somebody else don't do that Focus on what you have to do for yourself. Things coming in quickly, actively, um, things moving in the right direction. So you could potentially be frustrated by delays or have been frustrated by delays, but just no, or some type of panic that you had, some type of slowdown, um, thinking that you had a missed opportunity or lack of direction or energy, because like I said, that card hit the floor. Um, now you fighting to get through that situation, or that could have been some type of, um, energy exertion because you were trying to keep up with somebody else looking at somebody else's life meanwhile they're saying you're where you need to be and you have just now stepped up and stepped into your true authentic self because you just realized i can only do what i can do and the things i can't i'm gonna just you know so maybe you're no longer fighting the situation um depending upon what side you are in because if you are fighting the situation they're saying it's time for you to step up and figure it out this card right here keeps giving me the thing of conformity um understand your higher beliefs your values and your personal boundaries because we have been uh taught and conditioned by our families to be a certain type of thing you to believe in these types of things it's saying here and now in this time you the person who you are what do you believe in stepping into your personal power if you don't want to follow those traditions and those rules that they have been going through or that they were given it's time for you to now seek you seek you the kingdom of god and find out what god has in store for you between you and god not what nobody else told you to do not what nobody else said but you in covenant with god and what is god telling you to do what are your morals what are your values what are your customs that you want to create what are they okay so institutions traditions religion society and its rules social approval and conformity trust wisdom high knowledge commitment forgiving yourself forgiving yourself for even now stepping in to the reality or the realization that you have totally been living under other people's rules under people's guidelines other people's like what they thought and now stepping into yourself so planting the seeds for yourself and knowing that you're gonna win you're gonna win regardless no matter what they say it has nothing to do with them so um looking back on what you have what you have achieved um gives you okay didn't i say things moving quickly for you 
All right. So looking back on what you have achieved gives you um, learning to set your goals. And then we are, I just said that. So long-term view, hard work, perseverance, diligence, investment, sustainable results, investing in yourself. Investing in what you tend to think or what you seem to think is your purpose, your direction, your destination, okay? Where you want to go in life. So your success in the face of difficulty. Because now it's like retraining your mind, reconditioning yourself. So movement, progress, action, integration, determination, willpower, control, direction, departure, courage, victory, and a journey. Okay, so drink your water, Pisces. A new journey for you, following your pathway, following your heart's desires, following you, who you are with your true authentic self, and believing in the things that you yourself are now learning to be your traditions, your values, your legacy for your family and for your future. And for some reason, it just gave me the, the be mindful because you now being the ancestor that changes everything for your family, everything for your bloodline, everything for your family history, everything for your legacy. So be mindful that now you're stepping into that energy because the things that you do right now is going to go future generations. So who are you and what are you leaving as a legacy for your family? So this is the reading. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it and let me know in the comment section. If y'all would like to see this again, okay? Thank you. Goodbye. Go with God.